All right, guys, so we are going to make a super, super easy jelly together. And I'm gonna let you in on a secret. You can pretty much make any jelly you want out of a juice that has no sugar added. Uh, one that has hopefully, you know, not a lot of preservatives in it. I particularly love Juicy Juice. Um, it's 100% juice, no sugar added, and it comes in a lot of different flavors. Um, so bottled juice, and this is really, really, really easy for beginners. Um, <clears throat> this is just like the Welch's uh, grape jelly that I made with you guys. This turns out really, really good. And um, if you're new to canning, you're new to making jelly, this is a great way, uh, place to start because it's just so easy. Um, and it's fun. And you can have your kids join in with you if you want. Uh, there's really, the, the fail rate on this is really small. Um, it just gets you really comfortable with making jelly and then you can move up to, you know, making preserves and all that kind of stuff, jam um, and all that. But if you're really nervous and you're new to all of this and you don't want to invest a lot of money in case you screw up or mess up, um, but you really want to start somewhere, making jelly from bottled juice is the way to go. That's how I started and I just found it um, just a natural then progression once I got comfortable in doing it to move up to something else. Um, I made candy apple jelly once and that is with uh, apple, bottled apple juice and red hot candies. That was a fun jelly to make and a big hit with the kids. Uh, the neighborhood kids all loved it too. So today we are going to make peach apple. Uh, really simple, good, uh, great on you know toast and English muffins, just a great staple to have for peanut butter and jelly. Um, and I'm going to show you how to make it. Now this is going to be pretty much the recipe that you're going to use anytime you want to make a bottled juice jelly. Um, so any flavor, any flavor, as long as it is 100% um, you know, uh, no sugar added and natural and just all juice, you are good to go. So pretty much in our bowl, what we're going to need is five cups of juice. Okay, and I guess I should aim you kind of up in this way maybe. All right, so five cups of juice. I've got a four cup measuring cup here. So there's four cups there. I'm gonna put it right into my pot here. And get in an extra cup. And then whatever you have left over, you can give to your littles to drink. All right. And you have quite a bit left. Not a whole lot, but quite a bit. So there's that. And then what we're going to add to this is our pectin. Now, um, it's best to mix your pectin with a little bit of sugar first. So let me grab a bowl. Now, total, what we're going to be using is um, seven cups of sugar. So let me see if I can get this so you guys can see a little better here. All right, so seven cups of sugar, but what? right off the bat, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a quarter cup of sugar, and I'm gonna put it in this bowl here, and we're gonna mix our pectin in with that sugar. Now for this and any kind of bottled recipe you wanna make, you're gonna need eight tablespoons of pectin. There's one. Which, if you're buying in the bulk jar for a brand new jar, it's just going to leave you a little bit extra. Now, it's been recommended that it's eight and a little extra will give you the best set up for your jelly. So that's what I did. A little, a little extra. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but 
because I feel like it's brought me good luck because I've always had really good luck so far making um, this kind of jelly. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix that pectin in with my sugar. And then I'm going to go ahead and add it into my juice here. If you use a spatula, a rubber spatula, you can really get every drop of powder out. All right. Easy? Easy so far. All right. Again, you can find pectin right in your canning aisle at any of your grocery stores or Walmart. Target has a small canning section. I don't really care for uh, Target's canning section. Um, they don't have as much as Walmart and they're a bit more expensive. So if you're looking for canning goodies, go to Walmart if you have a Walmart. Um, same goes with like an Aco or an Ace Hardware. Um, they carry it too, but the prices are just a tad bit more expensive. I've just found the best prices and the best um, the best selection at Walmart, to be honest with you, at least in my area. So, all right, so we're just going to go ahead, blend this all in, and now we are going to, we have this on heat, medium-high heat. I just turned this on to medium-high heat. And we are going to bring this to a boil that we cannot stir down. So when we reach a boil that can't be stirred away, we are going to then add our remaining six and three quarter cups of sugar. So what you can do while this comes up to a boil here is I'm going to use this bowl again and I'm going to go ahead and add my sugar to this bowl. So I'm going to do that and then I'll be back. And as I'm waiting for my juice and my pectin to boil, <laughs> I thought I would show you Nina fast asleep. I knew she would be. Her belly's full and she's changed and she's warm and she's getting fresh air from the door over there. It's like 63 out. It's wonderful. And this kitchen's nice and warm because of the canning. It always heats up your kitchen. So be prepared for that if you haven't canned before. Isn't she cute? Oh my gosh. I just love her so much. And Mason is watching um, Jingle All the Way, I think. Uh, he's uh, big into <laughs> watching movies with his brothers. So uh, he's in there um, watching that actually by himself while his brothers are at school. So the house is kind of quiet and uh, we're canning. All right, guys, I just thought I'd show you a quick smidgen of Mina <laughs> sleeping away. All right, guys, so we are at a boil that we can no longer stir down, which means still bubbling as we stir it. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and add the remaining six and three quarters cup of sugar into this mix. Now there is a way to do this with a low to no sugar added recipe which instead of seven cups of sugar you would add four or four and a half I believe. Um, Maybe I will show you guys that recipe because that uses a different pectin. And I don't have that pectin on hand. They were actually sold out at Walmart. So I got the traditional pectin. Um, but anyway, so we've got our sugar in here. I'm just going to go ahead and stir it in. So it all dissolves. And this is when I go ahead, you don't have to do this, um, but I find it extremely helpful. I'm going to go ahead and add in a tablespoon, a tablespoon of uh, butter. 
cold butter. And what that does is it will help reduce the froth that forms on your jelly. Now the first time I made jelly I did not do that and I had a lot of foam. I kind of had a skim off the top and then some of the foam got into my jars and it just wasn't pretty. Um, I didn't know about the butter secret <laughs> until you know you start hanging out with uh, canners and on can uh, people's channels that can um, and also uh, different blogs and websites and um, you start learning the little tips and tricks so that is a little tip and trick for you to reduce that foam I'm just gonna go ahead keep stirring this. Now if you find that you've got some chunks in there, you can go ahead and grab a whisk. I have to be gentle with mine and not really touch the bottom of my pot. Um, because I've got a ceramic pot that will scratch. I need one of those plastic whisks. But that will help dissolve the rest of that sugar. Okay, we're still cooking this on medium-high heat. And now I'm just going to let this come to a boil, another hard boil, to where I can't stir it down. And when it does, we are going to start our timer. So I really want to have my timer sitting close. And I'm going to pre-program it to one minute. That way, when it gets there, all I have to do is hit start. And we will be on our way to making jelly. Now remember, this is... A basic recipe that will work with any 100% bottled juice. So pick your flavor. If you don't want, if you don't like peach and apple, you can go ahead and pick a different flavor. Um, the kids will have fun picking what they like. And actually, my kids picked this one, the uh, peach apple. They they said it. They thought it sounded really good. So we're gonna do this one. We're just going to go ahead and keep stirring, and I will bring you back when this comes to a, a hard boil. Okay, guys, we're getting there. Starting to boil here. And it is one that I can no longer stir down. So I'm going to go ahead and start my timer. Gonna go ahead and keep stirring this. And as it boils. This is making jelly. This is it. Not hard at all, you guys. So if you are on the fence about wanting to do it but feeling nervous or intimidated, just press on through that fear because it is so worth it. All right. There we have it. One minute. We're going to turn off the stove. I like to keep stirring it until at least it stops boiling. And we are ready to jar this up. Now my jars are still in the canner. Super hot, piping hot. Look at that. Oh, it smells so good. Peach and apple. It smells so good. Alright. Starting to cool it down a little bit here. So 
Now, this is where you can do the spoon test to make sure that your jelly is going to set right. Um, I don't usually find that I have to do that with this. Um, this recipe is pretty spot on. And as you can see, can you see it on the spoon? It's pretty much turned to jelly. I don't know if that's going to pick up or if it's just going to stay blurry. But um, yeah, it's pretty thick and it's staying on there. So that's one thing that I go ahead and put in the water. All right, so Mina is fussing. And let me give her her binky. And we can get to going on making some jelly here. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and move my measuring spoons over. And we don't need this. Get that out of the way. Get a little um, ramekin of uh, vinegar ready. You'll need that. You'll also need a couple of napkins, so have those ready as well. And we don't need this. This is where I like to have that bowl of hot soapy water available so I can just throw stuff in. All right. Now what I like to do is I like to go ahead and put my jelly right here on the hot plate so it's close to my towel so it's less of a mess because I'm not the neatest person in the world all right spoon ladle this is why I love this ladle fits right on the side there just makes canning much easier all right and now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start pulling my jars from my canner. Let's see if I can shoot it so you can see it here. Okay, empty the water out of it. Go ahead and lay it down. I like to work two at a time so I can always put the dirty funnel onto another jar, just makes it easier mess-wise to do. All right, okay, so here we go. We're gonna fill these jars up to a quarter inch of headspace. That smells so good. I like to fill these jars up. That way if I give it as a gift, it's nice and full. Alright. Plop it on the other one. Alright. Let's clean off. Vinegar. Some people just use hot water. I like the vinegar because it really cuts the sticky. And then in my pot here, I have hot lids, hot rings, and that water that I had simmered. I need to keep a towel on hand just to help me tighten them. And there you have it. Pretty, pretty. All right, so I put this right back into the canner so it can sit. And then let's pull up another jar. Another hot jar. Go ahead, put it in the rim. Lid. 
ring. Finger tight. Jar number two, back in the keener. Pull out another jar. And this is how we do it. Just keep rolling. I also love using this uh, cast iron ceramic pot because the jelly will stay hot longer. This stuff can cool pretty quickly, especially if you're canning in the winter and your kitchen is cold. So, like that. It keeps it warm. Now, if you are new to canning, you might feel more comfortable measuring using your tool and measuring that you have a quarter inch headspace. But the more you can, the more you just know what a quarter inch headspace is. You just get used to it. There's another jar. Back into the canner. I don't know how much of this you guys want to watch. I know newbies really appreciate, even if it's a long video, they like seeing all of the steps. And many like to can right alongside and have me play in the background, which is um, a huge compliment, you guys. I really appreciate that. I'm glad that my videos help you. Um, because really that's why I'm doing it. I mean, this is why I'm taking time away from my kids. And I could be holding my baby while she sleeps right now or sitting with Mason. Um, but I would much rather, you know, if this helps you guys and it helps you make food for your family, um, I would much rather spend my time in the kitchen with you helping. Um, because I tell you, <laughs> you can't buy jelly this cheap, you know, or this good. Um, and like I said, it's really fun. I like to can as a de-stressor. It really helps with my stress and anxiety. Um, I just enjoy it. And when I'm not making a video and it's just me sitting in here canning, I can literally do this for hours if I could. <laughs> of course, I have children, so that's really not an option, but if it was, I could. Well, there you go. So. Um, for me, I mean, if you kept all of this, this would be, this could be, um, a year's worth of jelly for you, you know, off of one bottle of juice and some pectin and some sugar. Of course, if you are like me and you make lots of different kinds of jellies, um, I've had jelly, <laughs> I have jelly on my shelf from two years ago still. Um, it's amazing. I'm going to go ahead and fill this one up too here. So, future canning recipes. I want to make a cherry one. That's the one I was going to make today, but I figured I would just do something a little bit more simple here. Um, because I want to chop up some maraschinos and put it in my jelly. Um, I am also going to make Noreen's uh, award-winning pineapple jam. I've made that before, but I've never filmed it. Um, so I'm going to film that. It's my husband's favorite jelly. And there you go. Look how pretty it is. Um, I also want to make an apple 
lavender jelly and that's been on my wish list um, since actually I was pregnant with Mina and I've never gotten around to making it. Uh, so that I want to do. That will be made with uh, apple juice as well. I think Mina lost her binky again. to make one more jar. I do not think so. I think this is going to be it. I'll throw that right into the hot soapy water. warm up extra lids and rings just because you never know you never know if one's going to give you trouble you never know you know quite if you'll need it or not um i just feel safer <laughs> making extra um just in case but that's just me and there you go and that one go in and this one, this one finger tip tight. And that one will go in. And I have here eight, which is exactly what it's supposed to make. Eight half, half pints. So. You don't even have to um, remove the um, empty jars if you don't want to. I have my rack up. So there you have it. I'm just going to leave those empty jars in there. And I'm going to bring you over here. There you go. And we are going to go ahead and we're going to lower this rack slowly into the water. One tip. To, so if one tips over, just go ahead and I use the little magnet guy because he'll pull the jar for you. So, there you have it. We have eight half plates in there. Perfect for Christmas gifts if you want to do a homemade gift for friends and family. I can't think of a better gift than this. Um, bake them a loaf of bread and give them uh, a jar of jelly or jam. And <laughs> I think that's pretty spectacular. So, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wait till this comes up to a full boil. I'm going to keep checking it. When I see that it's at a rolling boil, uh, we're going to set our timer for 10 minutes, turn our timer on, and then um, once that's done, we can pull them out of the canner. So when that happens, I will bring you back. All right, so while my jars are waiting to boil, I scooped out the rest of the jelly out of the bottom of the... Um, out of the bottom of the bowl there and you there you are hey. everyone loves you honey say hi hi <laughs> do you want to taste mommy's jelly and tell everyone you think it's really good it's some warm it's not hot it's just some warm mm. you like that mm. do you want a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with that mm. you do give it a thumbs up look up in the camera <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> Kid approved, right? Kid approved. All right. We'll make you a little peanut butter and jelly Daddy. sandwich. Huh? Hmm? Is Daddy. Yeah. Daddy. Daddy. Homemade warm jelly. I want to help you. 
There you go. Okay, rip off the top part. Kids never like this part. All right. Okay. Yay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn around <laughs> and show you eating it. Okay. Taste it. What do you think? Mmm. Is it good? Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. 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 -hmm. <laughs> All right. Go put it on your plate. <laughs> mm. My cutie boy. <laughs> okay, behind the scenes here, I went ahead and took out the um, the lids and the rings out of this uh, pot over here and just dried them off and set them over on my drying uh, pad over by the clean dishes. Now with this, you're going to have some jelly mess, at least I always do. Um, I don't use a whole clean towel for that. What I do is I'll just take my towel and I will... Fold it in half so that the sticky jelly part is on the inside now. And this is where I'm going to set up my jars because there's no reason to waste another clean towel because when those jars come out, they might be sticky. Um, they at least need to be washed down. So you might as well stick with one dirty towel for the whole process. So this side now is clean and uh, we're going to set up our jars. And this is where I'm just going to fold over the towel, bring them up to room temperature uh, nice and slow. Um, and yeah, so I've got nine minutes remaining on the processing time for this. And uh, that's it. I've got my sink. Um, I went ahead and filled my pot with hot soapy water. If I let that soak for about five minutes and come back and clean it, it will wash up beautifully. And then I have all my other uh, stuff in this bucket here of hot soapy water it just makes cleanup so easy because I can just hand wash it put it over to the drying area and bam 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 I'm done and then the whole cleanup from canning isn't so overwhelming because it can be daunting um, especially when you're new if you don't have a good flow and a good rhythm um, put out you know from the get-go it just it makes it that much harder if you've got a huge mess to clean up after you can, you're not going to want to can again. You're going to think of it as a big major project. So if you keep the flow going and you make it easy on yourself, it actually makes it really fun and really easy. You'll walk, you'll, you know, end up leaving this kitchen saying, wow, that wasn't hard at all. That was really easy and fun. And now I have eight, you know, little jars of, <laughs> of jelly that I didn't have before. So... Um, I've got the leftover jelly here, and I'm going to let the teens have that on either bread or crackers when they come home. Um, I don't throw anything out. That's really good jelly, um, but it wasn't enough to do a half pint with. So, all right. Uh, when it's time to pull these jars from the canner, I will bring you guys back, and we will wrap up because basically I'm going to wrap this in the towel. I'm going to bring back all of my... Um, you know, my canisters and my knife set. And I'll just leave them on here on this counter uh, to cool until tomorrow. And then in the morning, I will go ahead and check the seals, remove the rings, check the seals, give them a bath, wash my rings, put everything away. And uh, the process hopefully will start again because um, I've got a couple of jellies I still want to make. So I hope this, um, this whole process and showing you behind the scenes helps you out um, and kind of, you know, helps lessen the intimidation because I'm really excited for you guys. And for those of you who have been dying to can but don't know how to get started, I really want to show you guys that it's really easy and it's fun. And, you know, if I wasn't filming, it'd be really fast for me. I could do a canning session probably done in an hour so um, and have it all cleaned up and done. So the more you do, the better you get, the faster you get. And if you're not filming, it's really easy. <laughs> so, um, and it's something that I really enjoy. Um, it's almost like therapy for me. So, all right, guys, six minutes left. I'll see you in six minutes. Okay, guys, so the beeper is going off. I'm going to stop it. I'm going to bring you right over here. And... Let's see. Let's see if I can aim you this way for a minute. 
Now remember, when you start processing, when you start your timer, never, ever, ever, ever lift the lid. Make sure that your, um, that your canner is to a boil, and if it is, you're set. Don't ever lift the lid because then uh, you have to start the processing time all over again. Then when it's done and you're about to lift the lid, lift away from you so the steam can all go away from your face and shut off your heat. I'm going to put my lid right over here where it's safe and out of the way. And then I always grab, um, I know in my video where I said have some good tools, my gloves were one of them. I've got sensitive hands, so I don't need them burned. So just pull up your rack. And then I like to use my little jar holder too, if I need it. Go in here. Just get the water off the top. And there we have it. And you'll hear them popping. So that is awesome. And the first couple are always the hardest because they're always so crammed in there. So I'm going to aim you down this way so you can see them come out. Bless you, baby. I just stagger mine so that the heat can kind of come off these jars and they're not all cooped up. They've got a lot of good airflow. Alright. And that is it. So then what I do is I go ahead Fold that over. Hi, Mama. It's like wrapping a gift. Hi. Hi, baby. And that is it. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll give you one more peek at them. And a closer look at how they came out. They are beautiful. And this is eight jars of jelly that you wouldn't normally have or otherwise have. And it's just, oh, it's so good. The flavor is so intense. For anyone who made the Welch's grape jelly um, using the Welch's juice, some of you asked me, is it really better than just buying Welch's grape jelly? And it is. The flavor is just so much more intense. And for those of you who went ahead and made that jelly, you knew exactly what I was talking about because plenty of you came back and told me, yes, you are right. The, the flavor is just, it's just so much more of a grape flavor. And it is. So um, I hope you guys give this a try. And um, if you do, come back and let me know. And um, if there's any other keening questions that I can answer for you, I'm by far not a pro, um, but I've been doing it for two years now, and um, I have canned uh, a substantial amount of jelly in that time, <laughs> so I might not know everything, um, but if I don't know, I can maybe find somebody who does know for you, or at least, you know, kind of point you in the right direction, but... Um, this is a lot of fun, and I really hope you guys give it a try. And, uh, you know, <laughs> screw the fear. Just do it. You only live once, right? So just do it. If, if canning is something that you've always wanted to do, just do it. Today is the day. So if I can help you guys out at all, let me know. Comment down below. And if I get enough questions, I can always do a question and answer video. Um, but yeah, that's it. Now we'll let this sit. Um, and uh, I will eventually bring back all, you know, I let them cool off a little bit so that I can kind of move this forward. I'll put all my stuff back. And then tomorrow morning, I will do exactly what I did this morning with you guys. Go ahead and um, clean them all up and label them and get them on my shelf. So... Alright guys, <laughs> I will be seeing you maybe tomorrow with another canning recipe. These are all simple too, so there's uh, if you're a beginner, these are perfect for you. Alright guys, bye.